Adios Argentina and Chile. Goodbye dunes, sands and arid deserts. Sadly, the 2009 Dakar is over, so we're looking back on how the professionals and amateurs fared. This was the first edition of a Dakar in South America, and it certainly delivered on its promises. The favourites, as expected, really set the race alight in every sense of the word. The teams had to take the rough with the smooth, as the Dakar demands. There was plenty of countryside to be discovered, including the Atacama Desert, La Pampa and the towering Andes. On Saturday, the 3rd of January, the cars lined up in Buenos Aires to embark on this adventure of 9,600 kilometres and 5,600 kilometres of timed stages. The experts were soon to impose their skills and the final victory looked sure to go to one of the three rally raid giants, Mitsubishi, Volkswagen or BMW. The opening stages were to establish the hierarchy. From the start, the battle raged between Carlos Sanz and Nasser al -Atiyah. Volkswagen and BMW sharing the stage victories between them. As for Mitsubishi, their luck seemed to go from bad to worse. Masaoka had to abandon on the first Sunday and was followed by Luke Alphon in the sixth stage. What was worse, Stefan Peter Hansel also had to bid the camp farewell, leaving only Nanny Roma to take on BMW and Volkswagen. When it got to the sixth stage, there was a turning point in the car category, over the 395km special from San Rafael to Mont Mendoza. Nasser al having just won his third stage victory, was beginning to look like the winning ticket, but the course stewards were to decide otherwise. Over every special, the pilots must pass certain obligatory waypoints. The Qatari, however, took one or two liberties manoeuvring the course and the penalty was tough. Disqualification, shattering BMW's hopes of victory. With Mitsubishi out of the race and BMW orphaned of Alatia, Volkswagen unchallenged reign was about to begin. Out of Carlos Sanz, Genial de Villiers and Marc Miller, who would pull off the victory in Buenos Aires? The advantage was clearly for the Spaniards. The multiple world WRC champion was on another planet. The proof, between the 7th and 10th stage, he won three consecutive stages. The 2009 Dakar finally looked like it had gained another surefire winner. With the lead of 27 minutes on second place Mark Miller, Sands looked to be home and dry. Or at least so we thought. A crash into a ravine later and the race was history for the Spaniard. And so the Dakar crown passed to Genial de Villiers, and this time it was for certain. He started a roll of special wins, snatching the 12th, 13th and 14th stages. De Villiers arrived in Buenos Aires, the saviour of Volkswagen. The German company was simply walking on air, with Mark Miller standing in second place on the podium. Robbie Gordon was the third place driver for Hummer, of course, and Mitsubishi grabbed seventh place thanks to Czech Republic. And so the story finishes for this 31st edition of the Dakar, and a bestseller it proved to be.